hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to look at a coding question that is roots of the quadratic equation as you can see by the title of this video and this is an intermediate kind of a video wherein we are going to discuss the coding problem which is asked on the platform on which the nlth examination is held from the past two to three years so let's look at this question and try to figure out how to solve this question before moving on to the video if you have not subscribed or are new on this channel make sure to subscribe to the channel and join the rebox family and also you can join our telegram channel for which all the links are mentioned in the description box below also if you want to explore different videos on our channel you can go check out the playlist in our crash course for the aptitude section videos you can check out the playlist on verbal videos which we have made and we are also making videos on the coding questions which are asked previously so there's a dedicated playlist for that as well so let's get started in this video so the question is as follows for a quadratic equation find the type of roots which exist for the same the discriminant of the equation is given by the difference of square of second term and product of first and third term multiplied by 4 that is b square minus 4ac helps to decide the nature of the roots the roots can be real for a discriminant greater than 0 equal for a discriminant equal to 0 or imaginary otherwise given three coefficients a b and c of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c find out if the roots are real equal or imaginary so as we have already discussed in our previous videos try to figure out what the question is actually delivering you or the information which you exactly need so extract the useful information first so we can see that we have been given the discriminant as a property of our quadratic equation so that is b square minus 4 ac second they are talking about roots that can either be real equal or imaginary so let's look at the second part of the question that is the sample input and output so first of all we will be getting t number of test cases following which there will be three coefficients that is the coefficient of our quadratic equation and we have to output the nature of the root for the given coefficients of a quadratic equation so here we have the input as 3 following which we have a b and c that is 3 8 and 4 the three coefficients of the equation for which the output is real for the second set of input we have the output as equal and for the third set that is 5 minus 4 and 2 the output is imaginary so now to arrive at this output let's look at the explanation which is also provided along with the question so if you don't get something out of your question you can always look at the explanation of the code so the explanation is as follows the discriminant for the equation 3x square plus 8x plus 4 that is having the coefficients a b and c which are provided in the question it comes out to be 16 hence the roots are real since 16 is greater than 0 and it is also mentioned in the question that the roots are real if that is the case where your discriminant is greater than 0 it comes out to be 0 if the roots are equal and that is what is happening in the second equation that is x square minus 16 x plus 64 and in the third case that is the output is minus 24 because the set of input 5 minus 4 and 2 of the quadratic equation 5 x square minus 4 x plus 2 evaluates to a negative value which is less than 0 and hence the roots are imaginary so basically if you look at the question right now you can see that almost all the details are given to you and you have to output the answer as either real equal or imaginary and for calculating it you are also given the discriminant that is b square minus 4ac so what you need to do is simply take the inputs evaluate the term b square minus 4ac and return the output which is desired for each set of conditions so now let's look at the code for the same question and start to decode it so as you can see we have the same set of input or the question which we just saw in our previous slide that is mentioned over here and we have the sample inputs and the outputs so now let's start by clearing some basic things i will be writing a code in which we are going to return the values from a function because in case of the coding assessments many times it will be the case where there will be a locked set of code and there will be a part of code where you are uh, going to write and that part of code is nothing but the function which will return the desired answer so we will be also doing the same so for that first of all let's handle the input so let's say for underscore in range int input following which we will get three inputs that is a b c which will be the coefficients of our quadratic equation 
so now let's define a function which will be our answer function so in the answer function we will be passing the values a b and c and since we will be returning the values from the function we will directly print it here so now let's look at the function that is the answer function which we are going to define and again it has three parameters a b and c now what you need to do is evaluate the discriminant and as per the question we can see that the question says that the discriminant is nothing but b square minus 4 ac so that is the discriminant over which all your results will be evaluated so instead of defining a variable d and calculating it you can also avoid using a variable for uh, space complexities but in such kind of questions you don't need to think about that so much so uh, let's define say d equals to b square or oh, sorry b square minus 4 ac so that is the discriminant which we are getting and since your question has already provided you with three set of conditions for which there will be three different answers you can directly write it as follows so you can say return real so if your discriminant is greater than zero then you can return real and let's just copy this line of code so it will be equal if our discriminant is equal to zero and if our discriminant is less than zero then in that case we return imaginary but in the line number 29 we have a problem since we are assigning the value zero to d and we are not checking it so we add another equal to operator so now it is evaluating it and that is it for this part so now let's try to run our code and check if everything is working correctly so first of all we need a set of input so that is first uh, it will be t that is the number of test cases so i have passed three and now let's just pass this set of values over here so you can see that for the set of input that is three eight and four the answer is real which was the same in this case so as you can see that the first answer is real for the set of input that is 3 8 and 4 following which we have 1 minus 16 and 64 for which the answer is equal since their discriminant evaluates to 0 and for the third we have 5 minus 4 and 2 for which the answer is imaginary because their discriminant gets evaluated to a negative number so you can also check that in uh, the uh, so you can also check it by say writing a test line so say print d in each case and let's check it for say uh, 3 8 and 4 3 8 and 4 so as you can see that the discriminant gets evaluated to 16 and 16 is greater than 0 so the answer is real for the second one we have 1 minus 16 and 64 in this case the discriminant gets evaluated to 0 so the answer is equal and the third case which we have that is 5 minus 4 and 2 as you can see that the answer here becomes negative so your answer is imaginary so i hope you understood this logic and will be able to implement this logic further if a question is modified to ask for the uh, roots of the equation wherein you want to physically print the roots so in that case you can use this concept as well and if you enjoyed this video and got something out of it make sure to subscribe to the channel like this video share this video to the one who needs it and also join our telegram channel for which all the links are mentioned in the description box below you can go check it out and as a gentle reminder we have started the crash courses for web NLTH examination which has already got delayed and will have a date further in the future for which i have already made a video yesterday and i will link it up on the cards you can go check it out for all the further details and that's it from my side thank you for watching this video once again make sure to subscribe to the channel and as always keep learning and keep programming